So before we even start patching, we must ask ourselves a question. Is a Kunsa a phaser? And the answer is no. So I guess we can cap it here for today. I hope you've... No, 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 wait a minute. The fact that Kunsa is not a phaser doesn't mean that it cannot sound as a phaser. So in today's patch, I would like to dive more into this concept. We might shoot a talk about phasers, if you're interested in that. Maybe let me know in the comments below, but I think that we can cover pretty much all we need to know by saying that a phaser is a circuit that uses an array of uh, several all-pass filters in uh, parallel and uh, tuned to different frequencies. And an all-pass filter basically is, the fi is a filter that um, lets all the frequencies pass through but inverts the phase around the cutoff frequency. And uh, by stacking different all-pass filters tuned to specific frequencies and uh, shifting all of them at the same time, we obtain a phaser effect, which basically, as the name suggests, is an effect that scrambles our sound's phase, but it essentially leaves all the harmonic content in place. A brief overview of the patch. This is a sequence that I was using already at Superboot, so those of you passed by might have uh, already heard it. And uh, I passed, uh, I'm using two tracks on the Usta, one controls oscillator one, let's block them, and the other one controls the green oscillator. And uh, I mixed both oscillators in mono through the 3 to one and they sound like this. Now, the reason I did so is that I wanted uh, um, a patch that covered a reasonable frequency spectrum instead of using just the bass or just the lead. And I, want, I did so in order to better appreciate what a phaser does to our sound. What I want to do is to patch these uh, voices together into channel one of my Kunsa and I will use four filters. Now, as I said earlier, a phaser is a circuit that uses many all-pass filters and Kunsa is not an all-pass filter. It can be low-pass, band-pass and high-pass. But we can achieve something close to that sound if we use the four filters in parallel and uh, by doing so, I will patch the sound to the first input and feed the four filters. And I, may, I might mix them uh, down to the CGM, but I can also use the all output here that gives me four filters at once. And I can choose their behavior through this knob here. So for example, this can be a low pass and this can be a band pass and I can play with both at the same time and I can define the filter amplitude through these knobs here but also the sound going into the filters now make sure that all the filters have their VCA turned on because otherwise even if I raise this filters volume I won't be able to hear it because it will be muted for so in a setup like this I can hear filter 3 and filter 1 but even filter 2 is wide open there's no sound is passing through so I must make sure that all my filters are receiving the same, roughly the same amplitude. Now, since we are monitoring the all output, we must uh, carefully choose the filter behavior that goes into the sound. Because if we are listening to a single filter, we can listen to the low pass, we can listen to the band pass, we can listen to the high pass. But from this output here, we must choose which one should go there through this switch here. So high, band and low. And we want to set filter number one to low pass, two and three to band pass, and filter four 
to high pass and the low pass must be 12 dB so that its slope matches the band pass and the high pass that have a fixed 12 dB slope. And uh, we must set the character setting uh, in the same way for all the filters. We might change it at a later stage. For now I think that it is quite safe to set everything like this. And uh, a cool thing to do is um, right now we must set... Uh, now you can hear already, even if like something like this, you can already hear that we can experience some kind of phasing right now. And the reason is that we are actually recombining the sound through those filters because by combining a low pass, two band passes and a high pass we can reconstruct the whole spectrum almost as if we were using all pass filters. Of course that's not the case but we can get a very good impression of that. And uh, I want to set these filters roughly around the same frequency something like this and at this point oh, I can even take the dry output to compare them so this is what is getting into the filters I'm gonna take a longer cable to preserve the visibility there this is the dry output and this is the filtered output. Sounds quite similar. And now I want to use this, this spare 3 to 1 channel to create a DC offset that I will patch to the volt per octave input so that I can control the four filters at the same time by the same amount through the ser series of semi-normalization. So by patching it here, I am controlling those inputs here. Make sh remember, you can use this input here as a global uh, cutoff control. You don't have to feel uh, any kind of pressure to use it only with volt per octave signal. It can track volt per octave signals, but you can patch it whatever signal you want to control all the filters at the same time. And I, can, I am sure that the DC offset I am creating here is not mixed because I am using the unpatched output on the 3 to one which means that only those sections that don't have an output patched are actually mixed. So this one, since it has a patched cable, is removed from this sum. You can still have it here but not here and this is what we are after because we want to use this channel as a modulation. We are getting there and we can play with different uh, cutoff frequencies perhaps increasing the spread of our filters this but most importantly we can play with the Q knob and be a little more generous not bad we can push the filters a little bit more with some more Q. Since we are using quite loud resonance settings, we 
you may want to set the filters to combo mode to have a more balanced, uh, a, a gentle amplitude reduction towards the low end. This is the dry sound. can even experience with some more drive and a bit less Q. And now we can automate this behavior by programming an LFO here on Falistri and uh, by using the attenuated output we can define by how much should our phaser move I kinda like this more gritty sound that we achieved by adding more character. We can balance the filters, for example if we want more bandpass presence like this, or more high, and this becomes a sort of an EQ. And after adjusting a few levels, uh, we can obtain something like this. And uh, if we add a pinch of reverb, we can obtain a really, really nice phaser. We can take this patch a bit further by using the left and the right output combined and have a sort of stereo phaser. And that is pretty much it, I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time with more patch ideas and Kunsa demos.